He just turned to God and said, God, God, heal his cancer. This happened before here. Yeah. So I want you to worship God without fright.
you're going to pray that when you speak again, it's fluent. So you got the first touch by faith. I'm going to pray. Shake your hand. I will pray that that, that the great stomach will go. You have, you have the faith. You have the faith. I'm going to back it up tonight. That the spirit and unbalancedness will go. Completely in Jesus' name. Let's pray right now.
that I could be here with you guys. Um, I was saying to my family members that one thing I love about this church is that you feel the love. And um, that's a special thing because Christ is all about love. Um, I didn't know that I would be standing here talking today. So it came as a surprise, a bit of a shock. But when God has given us breath, the least we can do is come and give him thanks in the congregation. Because the Bible says that if we are embarrassed of him, he will be embarrassed of us in front of the angels. So people are nothing in terms of my honour should be to God. That's where the glory should go. Um, we shouldn't be embarrassed to share God in front of people because they are just like us. We are all the same. But there's one that we should honour, which is the creator of heaven and earth. Um, and I think I'll leave it with this. It's a bit like Paul and Silas in the Bible. You know, sometimes we might see somebody and we judge them. We say, oh, that's a murderer, or that's a prostitute, or that's a sinner. But Jesus sat with the sinners. And it was Paul that Jesus used mightily. He was a murderer. And the Christians, we would call ourselves the Christians, or those that are followers of Christ, they didn't want to receive Paul because Paul, in their eyes, he was considered dirty. He was considered a murderer, the lowest of the low. And Christ said, receive him. And it was that one that Christ used mightily. So for me, it's it's very important that we receive everybody that God sends our way. It's very important that we never assume that we are better than anybody, that we are higher than anyone, because one day we will have to face the real judge. Should I be discouraged? And why?
Bless you, church. Praise Come on, just praise God. Praise God. Glorify his name. Praise He's worthy to be, to be praised. Praise God. You know why? I left church this morning and I was in my car praying and saying, God, I need more. You fed me this morning. I heard your word. I felt encouraged, but I need more. And when I recently I went up to Birmingham because my father, my father was sick. And even though my mother and father go to a good apostolic church in Birmingham, they felt discouraged. And I fell out upon myself to go and visit them and give them some encouragement. Praise God. And as I was there in my mom's bedroom, I saw my mom looking at her phone, smiling, laughing, and I heard this church praising God. Amen. Praise God. And I saw, I said to her, give me that read that phone. And I saw H-P-A-C. And she said, she said to me, you know that church? I said, no, but it sounds good. <laughs> Praise him, come on. Yeah. Praise him. Yeah. And I said to her, I've got to find that church. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Because you can look and you can look and you can look. And a lot of them say they believe in Jesus, but they are false. But when you see a church that follows the Almighty God, seek and find it and worship. And I remember this morning, HPAC, I got home, got on my iPad, found the address. I was outside from 20 past five. I saw my sister just said to me, I say, if this church got service tonight, I'll see on your website. <coughs> six o'clock. She says, you can come between six and seven. But when I was sitting in my car and I heard that bass drum, and I heard that bass, I said, get up. Time to find church. And I walk in the church and I see something pack. And praise God, mother. There's not a lot of churches you find these days when Sunday night service come. You see pack. Sunday morning pack, Sunday evening after pack. You have to have something here that draws people back into the house of God. And when I heard Tony's testimony, that's the testimony of a true church. Never know where God was, didn't know that this was even a church, but when he came here, God's voice spoke to him. He called him because he was searching for something new. Praise God! And for that reason I'm here praising and blessing God with you tonight in Jesus' name.
Please! 
what that kind of thing is like to me. And I'm saying you can say, God, I hear all the testimonies in here tonight. But if you're real, do something for me. Praise the name of Jesus. And I guarantee you tonight, as you ask in your heart, as you ask in your heart tonight, I believe that God is going to do something for you. Somebody is going to deliver somebody from drugs. God is going to do it. God is going to deliver somebody from some addiction tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. I believe with all my heart that the blood that flows to the highest mountain and the blood that flows to the lowest body, he can reach somebody tonight. And we have heard a lot tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. I am just standing here to say, somebody come to God. Come to God. The minister, just, the brother just said he was in the barbers and the car went off the road and it's by the grace of God. I am not put, trying to put any fear in anybody, but that is sure. Praise the name of Jesus. One thing I know is that heaven is real. Hell is real and death is sure. And I'm saying to somebody tonight, come to God. We want to pray for somebody. Can you stand please? We want to pray for somebody tonight. I believe that God is going to say something to me. I don't believe God let Sister Jennifer invite you all here. And those who she didn't invite, they came as well. And it's just for you to come, hear us sing and clap, see us praise God, and to walk out the same. I implore in somebody tonight, do not walk out here the same way you're walking. Come and give God a chance. You try drugs. You try the man. You try the woman. You try everything. And let me tell you something, they will pay. But I'm introducing you to somebody tonight. Jesus is an ever-failing God. Praise the name of Jesus. You can call him anytime. You know, sometimes you call your friend at the time you have to turn off the phone. Or they put on a voice message. Or you will never get them from God. Wherever you are, whatever you need, come to him tonight. And he will save you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Well, I need 